Hey everybody, happy spring. Um, got a bunch of books to show you, a couple CGCs to unslab. Uh, first of all, a little while ago I mentioned that I'm uh, redoing all my books in Mylar and acid-free boards, and here's a reason you might want to consider doing it. This board is probably about 10 to 12 years old, and as you can see there's like yellow up along here and right along there, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's some spotting. Uh, throughout there a lot of the boards are like that this one is the same but not quite as bad and this one also has an edge down there so um, I know on the CDC boards there was somebody that did a test on uh, the acid free boards and if they really stayed acid free or not and these were not 100% acid freeze I'm getting my stuff now from uh, eGerber and I know there was a test on there if somebody knows a link to it um, put it down in the uh, in the comments and I'll, I'll throw it in the description box and uh, you guys go check that out it's very interesting but uh, I saw somebody had a video and they said they were changing their books over to Mylar but they were using they weren't using acid free boards this might be a reason to do it I was always uh, concerned about the boards that I was using I really didn't care about the bags because I switched them over every couple of years about every five or six years or so but uh, when I start seeing the boards like that that gets me a little concerned so um, I am saving the boards and putting them behind the uh, the acid free board but this one guy said that he was switching over his mylars but using these boards well half of your book touches the board so unless you're just putting the the comic into a mylar and then putting that into something else without using a backing board fine but you know half of your comic book is touching this board so you got to make sure you're using good boards and I guess I really wasn't these were standard ones that I bought I can't remember who they're from but um, uh, word of the wise, you might want to consider that. So like I said, these are about 10 or 12 years old and you can see where there's all kinds of staining on them. I don't know if that's coming from the comic, I'm assuming it is. But uh, the books were fine, you know, when I redid them, but I saw the boards and went, eek. Okay, here we go, Avengers uh, 26. I only got two done slabs, so I'm actually going to do the whole unslabbing for you. I'm going to try to do the whole unslabbing for you. The last couple times I had a bunch to do, so instead of taking all that time to crack them and everything, I pre-cracked them, but I only got two, so I'll show you the whole show. Okay, this is a 9-0 with off-white pages. I recently went to a couple of shows, uh, met up with uh, Brian Emski, sorry Brian, can't remember the number, the 316, I have a hard time remembering my phone number, but uh, I'll put the link to his page down uh, in the description box and check out his videos and his channel. I usually take this out first, oh I'm getting rusty. These newer slabs are very, uh, very easy to get out. Um, not the slab itself, but the plastic. Some of them are real tight. These ones have a little bit more room to cut. Which I'm sure they didn't do that on purpose, but it works out for me. Okay, let's get this garbage out of the way. Uh, looks pretty nice. Well, it's a 9 -0, so it's going to look nice. Um, a little wavy over in here. Doesn't look too bad. The corners are nice and sharp. There's really no color loss anywhere that I can see right off the bat. Uh, it's a little bit tanned, but it's pretty consistent. There's no major tanning on the corners, but or on the edges, rather. Uh, looks pretty nice. I don't really see anything major wrong with it. Not my usual hold on for the staples. Okay, they look real good. Uh, looks nice. Yeah, not quite as white as I like them, but you know, when you can't see it up close, you really don't know. But that, that's pretty nice. I like that. That's a nice looking book. Um, I always check the back cover. This back cover looked real nice on the scans. Uh, a lot of times you can see some creasing in here that you really can't pick up on the front. If they're not color breaking creases on the front and they're just dense, you can see them better on the back. So I always check the back of the cover out when I'm 
purchasing the book as best I can, I guess. But okay, that's a that's a nine oh that's a real nice book. Alright, we'll set that over here. Next one. Been watching this book for a long time. I uh, finally pulled the trigger on it. I didn't really get a great deal on it. I paid pretty much what the going price is. Uh, Fantastic 429.85. It's an old label. I don't like the old labels. This one should pop out pretty easy. Very easy. Easy peasy. It's nice to hear birds chirping in the background as opposed to snow plows. This bad way out of here. All right, let's see. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna be easy too. I don't know if you can see it, but the seal is like right here. It's a good probably half inch away from the book. So that's gonna be pretty easy to cut it. Uh, this book was actually graded in 2001. Uh, what I'm doing now is I, after I buy a book, CGC graded, I go and get the notes. I pay for the notes, either five or ten bucks. And I make sure there isn't anything funky on the book that I couldn't really see. And I haven't had a problem yet, but if I do, I'm just going to turn around and resell it. You know, without breaking it out. Um, this book didn't have any major problems with it. Um, here's, the, here's the CGC full bottom whole book light wear, left bottom front cover small tear, spine stress lines break color which really aren't too bad at all, there's only a couple tiny ones and front cover medium, top front cover medium light creases so I really don't see those from here so I'm hoping they're very very minor things that's pretty good Okay. Uh, wow, that's a nice looking book. Um, as far as creases down the, the spine, wow, I get what tiny one there and a tiny one there. I mean, those are those are very little. Uh, another t real tiny one here, but holy cow, that's that's not much at all. Again, it's an old label, which supposedly they're graded a little bit tighter. I think they are, but they're not all. Um, okay, wow, that's a nice looking book. Uh, spine along in here looks real nice. Yeah, I don't really see any major problems with it. Okay, happy so far. Let's get to the center. Uh, very nice. Those are attached real good. I'm liking this book. Uh, wow, looks good. Looks real good. Very, very lightly tanned along the edges but nothing much to speak of. That cover looks real nice, wow. I, I, there's no way that's not gonna get a 9.0 nowadays, that might even get a 9.2. That's a real nice looking book. Okay, home run, woohoo! Like that one. All right, I was at a show recently, the one I was at with Brian, and uh, I picked up one book for a whopping $6, uh, X-Men 234, I just like the cover. I always try to buy something from the guy. It's six bucks, I'm sure. Not even gas money, but uh, it's a very cool cover. And this one I pulled the trigger on uh, just before I left, after I saw Brian. Uh, I got it a 7.5. Um, if I got it graded and it was an 8 all and I pulled this book out, I wouldn't be happy with it. So I got to call it a 7.5. So I'm always working on my favorite title. Fantastic 450. I uh, recently bought a uh, 52. It was CGC at 7.5. Uh, the only thing with this book is there's a little corner dent down here, breaks a little bit of the cover or the color rather. Uh, the other three corners are real sharp, uh, real nice all the way along in here. Uh, guy I buy a lot of books from. He's from uh, Cleveland. Um, he said, yeah, probably about a 7.5. Uh, real nice, beautiful, uh, no tanning, it's a little off-white, uh, just a really, really nice book. Uh, back cover, sharp, the dent down here isn't bad, you know, it really doesn't do much to the book. Uh, there's a small chip right here, 
But uh, other than that, wow, you know, it's a, it's a really nice book. So very happy with that one. That's that's a big that's a big deal for me. Um, then about three weeks before that, they had another show, and I buy books from this guy, and he's usually got them undergraded. And I saw this one up on the wall, and it wasn't something I was going for. When I go to the shows, I really don't look. I'm not going there for any specific book. I just go there, and whatever I see, I see, and whatever strikes me. Sometimes I go there, don't buy anything. Sometimes there's a whole ton of books, whatever. Well, this one's up on the wall, and I see it, and Spider-Man number one, Amazing Spider-Man number one annual, a uh, book that's just gone sky high lately. Um, he pulls it down for me, and I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be a lot. It looks really nice. It's got a little little crease down here, a little chip in the corner, which they, you know are hard with these square bound books, but the top was real nice, real nice down the side. There's a little something there. I might as well just take it out. Um, and he's always got the price on the back, you know, and I flip it over, and there's no price on it. And I go, uh-oh, <laughs> this ain't good. It's going to be a lot, you know. So uh, I go, hey, what do, you, what do you want on this one? And he says, um, geez, I don't know. I never grade it. He goes, let me get together with my buddy, and we'll grade it, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll give you a price. So let's take a quick look at the book. There's a little, little color break there, a little rub there, but man, what a, what a sharp looking book, um, 1964, you know, now these books, if you guys don't know, they're square bound and they're glued along the, along the edge here, so usually there's a straight line down here where the book gets folded and folded, every time you open a cover, all the stress is going on that one part, so that's why these split a lot, and this one splits just a little bit down at the bottom, uh, but it's really nice all the way up, pages are nice, look how white that cover is, look at that front cover, I mean, I think it's, it's almost as white as the backing board. Uh, really nice book. Really, really, really nice. So and there's the back. So you can see there's a dent there and here, but, you know, nothing major. I mean, the corners are sharp. It's just really, really nice. So I'm thinking, okay, he's going to whack me on this one. You know, it's going to really be a lot. So I start looking at his other stuff. Matter of fact, this is the same guy that I had bought... Uh, um, annual two from a little while ago. I think that was in the fall. So as I'm looking, I come across this book. Captain Marvel number one. Not a book I look for. Uh, it's a number one. It's from the late 60s. And, you know, how can you pass up a number one? So he's got 70 bucks on it. And I'm thinking, wow, 70 bucks is really a good price. So I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with it. So I pop it out and I look at it. And it's really nice. So I have him pull it aside for me and go, hang on to this one. So then I go around looking. I found like four more of these books. This was the nicest one. Somebody wanted 150. Somebody wanted two and a quarter. He wanted 70 bucks for this book. So I looked it over real good, and there's absolutely no problems with it. I mean, you know, nothing that would, that would knock it down like that. So he just had it graded. I don't know how, but he had it priced at that, and that was, that was fine with me. I mean, the edge is real sharp. There's like one little crease, a little bit of stress by the staple. And the black bottom's pretty nice, couple little little nicks there, but nothing major. And uh, I'm thinking, geez, for 70 bucks, how can I pass it up? So I come back to him, and he shows me this book, and he says, well, there's a thing down here in the corner, and there's some color lots and stuff, so we graded that at a 5.5. He goes, how's, I usually don't say what I spend on these books, but this one I have to. He goes, how's 250? And I'm thinking, man, that's a good price. It's got to be a good price, because this, this is just getting out of sight, this book. So I'm like, all right, I go, I still want that Captain Marvel. He goes, okay, 50 bucks for the Captain Marvel and 250 for this one. So I'm like, sold. You know, I got to do it. And I, I've been looking this book up, and I've seen crappy, crappy books going for three, $400. I mean, you know, 2.5s. So I think I really hit a home run with these two. So that's my big uh, spring fling. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care.